Hi guys! Welcome to a fall weekend vlog. So today, me and my parents are going to this fall festival, which is in Smicksburg, Pennsylvania, which is in Amish country. It's about an hour away from us, and they have the festival every year. Sorry if you hear some noise downstairs. Ben's renovating the house, and he's adding some trim in. But, um, so let me actually close the door. So, like I was saying, they have this fall festival every year. They also have an apple festival, which occurs, occurs in September, I think. But we're in October now, and that's when their fall festival is. We've gone to it a couple of times now, so it's kind of become a little tradition that we have. And they also have a Christmas festival, which we've been to a couple of times. So we just enjoy going there. They have like furniture stores with Amish furniture. We always like to try to find some sort of baked good, particularly the Amish donuts. The past couple of times we've been there, they haven't had the Amish donut truck that they usually have or that they had the first couple of times we went there. So every time we go back now, we're like, well, they have the Amish donut truck. So that's what we're wondering this time <laughs> because honestly, that's the best part. The donut is so good. But yeah, I just finished getting ready and I'm ready to head out now, meet my parents, and we're gonna head to Smicksburg. I have kind of like a fallish outfit on. So I got this sweatshirt with these cute cats on it from Etsy recently. Um, it just came here, so I'm wearing that. It's honestly a little bit too warm to be wearing a sweatshirt like this, but I wanted to wear it and get in the fall spirit, so we're doing it even though I'm gonna be hot. And then I also have this pleated skirt on from Hollister. Can't believe I'm saying that I shop at Hollister. I didn't even shop there when I was younger and it was like in its heyday. But I got this skirt from Hollister, it's pretty cute. It's like a cute, simple, I have some lint, um, black skirt, pleated skirt, and my sweatshirt which is from Etsy. I got it in a large and it's from the shop Grumpy Goose. I got it in a large so that I can mostly so I can wear it with leggings and it fits really nice over leggings. I've already worn it like that but for this it almost looks a little bit too big with this but I'm doing it anyway. My shoes from Target. I got those last fall. All right so let's head out to Smicksburg. Oh also I have these earrings on which are from Aerie. Let's go to Smicksburg. There's Eloise in the background. <laughs> if you saw my previous video, you know that Ben and I are renovating our house. As you can see, there's like nothing in it. But today, like I said, he's putting up the trim. So he's starting with this opening, which when we moved, this was a wall. And he and my brother, I'm out of breath because I was just <laughs> running around. He and my brother um, cut this opening into the wall. But um, so far, it's just kind of been this raw edge. But now he is adding wood to it. Oh, and I just noticed there's wood here too. It used to just be a raw edge, but now he's adding wood. So yeah, that'll look real nice. Here he is. <laughs> oh, he's investigating. Yep. I'm leaving. Feel a little bit better in here? Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm in the car now. It's a really nice day out, but definitely too warm for this sweatshirt. I feel like that will survive, at least have my skirt on, to get a little bit of air that way. <laughs> I wanted to just come on here because as I was leaving the house, I have this big pumpkin out on like our concrete steps going up to our house. And a couple of weeks ago, actually no, it was like, last week the pumpkin was moved into like the yard but it was still sitting up perfectly straight and i thought that was super weird i was like is somebody targeting me and then today i went out there and the pumpkin was in the middle of the end of my driveway i noticed it as i was backing up and there's a gash in the back and the inside of the pumpkin is like gone like all those innards and the seeds and everything are gone out of it as if somebody scraped it so i'm sitting here thinking that somebody's targeting me i'm about to get murdered but i called ben and i asked him about it and ben was like yeah that's just a deer <laughs> a deer probably just took it and ate the inside of it 
and that's also probably why it's in a random spot and also probably why it was in the middle of our yard the other week and I was like oh my mind just always goes to the worst case scenario I feel like I'm living in a horror movie at all times even though I'm in suburban America so <laughs> Just a little update. I just pulled in and I realized my sister Caitlin is also here. Her car is parked out in the front, so that'll be fun. I didn't realize she was coming. We're in the car now on the way to Smixburg. Here's my sister Caitlin. And my parents are up front. Caitlin recently just went to Disney World and she got this trick-or-treat tote at the Disney Halloween party. And she has a bunch of candy in it. So now we're having a mini trip or treat in the car. <laughs> There's Milky Way. I have some peanut M&Ms. Mm -hmm. She's passing out a Milky Way. <laughs> Are you yeah. When she was in Disney, she went to like the Halloween party that they have. And they literally get And they do trick or treat. Here's a big Milky Way. <laughs> Don't know if she's gonna get it, and this witch is a favorite. Nice tree. What is it? Mini Buckeyes. Wow. Mini Buckeyes. My mom likes these coasters, so those are a contender. This cool candle that looks realistic. My mom thinks she's gonna get it. $15.99. That was a pretty successful shop in there. I got the picture that I showed of the house the mug my mom got caramel apple caramels a pretty successful shop and a candle oh, a candle sorry <laughs> I'm gonna try the caramel apple caramel it's a sweet filled day mm, smells good pretty tasty so that store we just went to was on the road that you take to get to the Fall Festival. So now we're driving to the Fall Festival itself. This is where the festival is. We are arriving. Apple dumplings, it says. Is the donut lady here? <laughs> it's closed. That truck is closed. Oh my God. Donut lady. 
Exactly. That's usually where she is, though. Yes, oh my god, that's there. where she normally is. Why wouldn't she be here? No. Once again, we're not getting the donuts. We're in a furniture store now. Oh my god. What are we having? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Caitlin found a gnome that she likes. She's a gnome girly. That one's cute too. We're in an antique type store now. Antique adjacent. This little thing is super cute. It's $30. Some bread on there. <laughs> Getting this witch hat. There it is for my candles. Oh wow, that's nice. It's tiny. My mom's getting this candle. What do you call this? Reap? There is a name. I don't know. Candle. This area is kind of cute. Oh, it doesn't open. Oh my god. We're going into another furniture store. We're entering from the side though. The front has like some food and there's a guy performing up there and stuff like that. <laughs> we got some cheddar corn. <laughs> we walked down this path to get to this grandma's antiques glassware and jewelry. And it's giving it's giving horror movie. I just noticed the sign says closed. No wonder why it looks abandoned. got a, what do you call that? Apple cider slushy? Yeah. Let's show it to the vlog. There it is. And we also got some fudge in that one store back there. We got pumpkin cheesecake and chocolate peanut butter. We found 
are some Amish donuts. There they are in all their glory. I'm here with my dad trying an Amish donut. <laughs> How is it? Very tasty. It tastes like the ones that were up there the one year. Oh, really? Huh. So it's Amishy. Yes. Okay. I thought it was Krispy Kreme. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Alright, we're done at the festival now. Now we're just taking a little drive through Amish country and we're gonna go somewhere to eat some dinner. Okay, we're at Benjamin's now. Here's the menu. There's a little pumpkin on the table. And other festive touches here. Ooh. I am going to get the chicken Romano. These are some Asiago peppers. Caitlin got some truffle fries. <laughs> Sunday now. It is around one o'clock and so far we've had a little bit of like a tidying up morning. I got ready, made the bed behind me, just been cleaning up stuff that's been gathering around over the week and this weekend. Ben has been working on doing the trim so he has the trim mostly out. I'll show you guys. Most of the trim is on now. It's just that he has to Cook it and he has to I think maybe nail in some parts. I honestly don't really know I don't really know the whole process, but when I look at it most of it is on the wall now um, So I'll show you guys that when I go downstairs today My plan is I want to do some more tidying up bits So I want to do a little bit of laundry and I want to run the sweeper around also i want to plant my mums outside if you watched my last video you know that the theme of the video was i was going to plant my mums and do my outdoor halloween decorations and i only did that partially i planted them in the pots and i put a couple of things out but i didn't do the whole shebang so i'm gonna plant the rest today it's really nice out today it's like kind of a little bit cooler but it's still warm out and the weather's really nice so I'm definitely gonna do that today and then tonight every Sunday I go to my parents house and we have dinner tonight it's my sister Caitlin's husband BJ's birthday celebration so um, his birthday was a week prior in the week prior but we're celebrating it today so yeah that's what's in store for this Sunday come along with me I'm in my laundry room now putting in a load of laundry. Um, this girl on TikTok was talking about how she stayed in this Airbnb and all the laundry and like linens and everything smelled so good and she like creeped in the laundry room to see what was in there. And one of the things that was in there, there were like a bunch of different things, but one of the things that was in there was this downy ocean mist, like scent beads. And I've tried these before and my skin is really, not this specific type, I've tried like scent beads before. And my skin is super sensitive so they tend to bother my skin and make it itchy. But this one actually does not do that so far. I've only really been using it on my towels and stuff, which I mean that does directly touch your body so should know if it bothers my skin. And so far hasn't bothered my skin and it smells really good. It smells 
like the ocean that it has like it has just like a calming smell um i really like the original downy scent but i only really use that on like my linens for our bed and stuff like that but this i've really been liking on our bath towels so just a little little update on laundry things <laughs> so yeah i just use this for my towels and this scent free tag because again my skin is sensitive but so far this hasn't been bothering it we'll see how we continue to do though but yeah i'm just putting a load of towels in the laundry right now getting things going also i forgot another thing i think she mentioned this in the video but before i even saw the video i've been wanting to get this it's the oxyclean this one is called versatile stain remover they have a whole bunch bunch of different kinds i think the one she actually showed was a different kind like that has a scent to it a scent to it this one doesn't really have that much of a scent not from what i can tell when i used it but um yeah i've been putting that in with my towels and for other things that just seem like they need a little bit more of a clean like last week when we went camping all my stuff kind of smelled like smoke so i used it on my clothes and stuff for that weekend but yeah i've been liking those two things the oxyclean and the downy ocean beats for the oxyclean you have to put it in when there's already some water in there so that's what i'm doing Laundry is going, now on to vacuuming. done tidying everything up now i'm going to go outside play my mom's and put my lights out oh my god it is so hot outside all red honestly planning those mums was a freaking nightmare it's really hot outside i actually think it's not as hot well it's 80 degrees out um but the way that our house is situated oh my god the way that our house is situated the sun is just like directly on the front of it and it gets so much sun out there so even on like a regular day where it's not hot the sun is just like beating on you so yeah i'm just sitting there planning my mom's getting completely fried i'm extremely hot i'm probably gonna have to take a shower after this i don't want to have to redo my makeup though because i already like got ready for the day but yeah that was so miserable <laughs> not fun at all that's definitely in the future i need to do that in like an evening where it's not sunny okay i started putting up the halloween lights outside and realized i had like half the amount of lights that i actually need for those two trees i put four strings of lights on one so far and i'm like a little over halfway done with just that one bush i have two bushes two bushes i'm going to put lights on and i got four total for the both of them and that is not going to work so i need to get more lights but right now i need to go pick up my groceries because i made a grocery order this morning so i'm gonna go pick up my groceries come back and unload those i'm back from the grocery store now so i thought i'd just do a little grocery store haul <laughs> ben's behind me doing all this kind of work and i'm just here doing a little grocery store haul so i got some milk because i drink that with my coffee every morning in a latte 
some whole grain bread. I got two sweet potatoes because I'm going to make these chicken drumsticks with peri peri sauce, sweet potatoes, and where they go? Green beans. So that's a meal. I got some bell peppers because I put that in my salad seed during the week. Garlic salt. I asked for garlic powder. I got the wrong thing. Oh well. I probably put in the wrong thing too. Oh well. I also got jasmine rice to eat with salmon this week. This bare naked vanilla almond crisp, which is granola that I put in my yogurt in the morning. I got this OxyClean because I need to get a stain out of a sweatshirt that I have and I ran out of this, so I need that. Got the drumsticks, like I said. It's just turkey lunch meat and pepper jack cheese for Ben's lunches. I got an onion for that chicken dinner. Strawberries, which I also eat in my yogurt. Cucumbers for my salads. Got some kale for my salads. Some lettuce for my salads. Then broccoli for the salmon dish. I already showed you that. This is the salmon. And finally, I got some bacon just to have for breakfast on the weekend. And there is my little grocery haul. Here's Ben doing the trim work. <laughs> He's installing the trim in this green room that we did. The color on the walls is Benjamin Moore Intrigue, but we also painted the trim the same color so it matches. And up here, I wanted to do like wood detailing, kind of like square wooden detailing on the walls as well in green, but Yep, there's that. And Louise just lounging around. <laughs> All right, we are heading out now to go to my parents for BJ's birthday celebration. And yeah, we'll see you there. I'm at my parents' house now. My dad is in the process of making his pizza. It's a Northeast PA style pizza, <laughs> Sicilian baked in a pan with oil and he also some. made these Asiago peppers mm -hmm. outstanding <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to try some myself The pizza is done. How do you feel about it, Dad? Uh, oh I'm not so <laughs> sure. Ever we'll since my parents minute. got a new oven, <laughs> my dad's pizza has not been the same. <laughs> and so every time he tries a new technique to try to make it the same again. Yeah. It's, uh, and it hasn't really, it was successful the one time, yeah. but it hasn't been easy to replicate. It's touch and go. It's really touch and go. Let's see what we got here. All right, is there going to be, the test is whether there's a crunch in every bite. Yeah. Sounds okay. crunchy. This sounds pretty crunchy. <laughs> uh -oh. It sounds crunchy. Sounds crunchy. And it's a puffier texture. Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of it. I got apples. Let's see. See, I brought my apples. Okay. Let's see what we're doing. Here's my uh, pizza loving tray. <laughs> if anyone's interested, I have 12 more of them for sale. <laughs> oh, geez. oh. How did I do that? I have 12 oh more goodness. of them for sale if anyone's interested. <laughs> DM me. Is that what they call it, GM? Yeah. Or something like that? Oh my God, look how thick that one is. What the mm. heck? I'm not quite sure what to make of that. 
Hmm. Mm. Let's see here. It's a little. Uh, yeah, it's really good. Hmm. Okay, it's server, awesome. serving woman. <laughs> oh my God. Where you at? Nice. You know you can't hire the girls that really want to work. <laughs> I'll take it out. They're just, you know, you're a customer. You shouldn't have to be doing that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's huge. Why are you off of that? What did you say, Ben, about the pizza? I said that was the best pizza that he's ever made. Wow. Have we perfected it since the new oven? Should I? Uh, what do you think, Mom? It's crispy. It's fluffy. That it thing. bounced back. <laughs> Another thing. Mm -hmm. She doesn't agree with Ben. No, I can I tell. Oh. Should I Nine order eight and zip drive? I think it's good. You can. I think you can. Yeah, or you can order. It. In one. some places, mine was too it. puffy. It's a Disney sense of too. No, but she's she's my sister went to this fall festival today and she made a ceramic pumpkin and let's just show it for the vlog. <laughs> there it is. It's, it's an abstract. It's an abstract. It's an abstract. That has what? That has what? Let me see it. Oh. <laughs> that has Joaquin Phoenix written all over it. <laughs> the Joker also pumpkin. Like artists. <laughs> <laughs> Do like dots and the paint just went like. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Peaches. Yeah. 54 years old today. <laughs> Here we go. 49. <laughs> oh my god. Are we ready? We We're ready to sing. Ready to go. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear BJ. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Should I do the COVID one? And Superman, yes. a oh, super yeah. fan. Whatever you want, man. There we go. <laughs> the COVID one. Yeah, that's, the, that's, the, that's the COVID candle blowout. <laughs> Someone. Here is the cake. Pretty delicious. I already had a little bite. Hi guys. It's Monday now, but I just thought I would add a little extra to this weekend vlog because Ben and I are going to finish putting up the Halloween lights outside because I got the extra orange lights that I needed. And so now we have everything we need to finish the lights. So let's do that. I feel like this eye looks weird for some reason, but maybe it's just the lighting, hopefully. Don't have any makeup on so just ignore that but i am editing this vlog now and i realized i never ended it so i just wanted to come on here to end the vlog ben and i put up all our halloween decorations so we're ready for halloween ready for the trick-or-treaters we're good to go thank you for watching this weekend vlog hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe to my channel if you're not already I am going to be having some other festive fall and then Christmas type vlogs coming up here soon. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.